Hey, how's it going? Uh, this is Kevin, and I'm doing a review here of Chromophone. Now, Chromophone is a physical modeling synth by Advanced Acoustic Systems. And if you're familiar with them, then you know that they pretty much exclusively make acoust um, physical modeling synthesizers. And if you're familiar with that, uh, or not familiar with that, basically most synthesizers either use recordings or simple oscillator waveforms to, as the source of sound to generate sound. But something like this will use what we call physical modeling, which is a series of algorithms that uh, mathematically simulate things that happen in real space. Uh, thus the modeling part of physical modeling. So this synth does that and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, if you look at this layout here, you can see all the knobs and buttons and this is all there is folks. There's nothing else going on as far as controls. You can uh, manage sounds here, but that's pretty much it. What you see is what you get. And you might think, well, you know, what can I do with, with this few controls? You can actually do a surprising amount. This synth has some really unique sounds. And it, it's actually um, one of my favorites from AAS because um, it has this unique system here where you have two resonators. And um, just to describe how this thing works, instead of having an oscillator and a filter and envelopes, um, basically you have two kind of exciters here. You have a mallet and you have a, a, a noise generator. And these things excite your resonators. And you have two here. You can have both of them kind of just resonate independently or you can couple them together. So in this particular case, we have, let me turn it up a little bit. We have a string and it's being, um, it's kind of like it, as if it were mounted onto this uh, plate. And so it's something like a guitar. If you think about a guitar, it has strings and you could model the, the plucking of a string, but it's also mounted onto a wooden body that also vibrates and resonates. So this allows you to couple together both of these attributes. This particular slider shifts between the string being kind of priority or the, the plate being priority. So you can see right there, you get a wide variety of possible sounds and they all sound very organic and, and dynamic, like velocity will affect what you're doing here a lot. So you can really get a huge variety of sounds there's a, uh, you know, drums. And the cool thing about the drums, if you play low on the keyboard, it sounds kind of like a kick or something. It doesn't turn into kind of mush like samples do when you pitch them down. And then when you get up to the high frequencies here, it sounds like cymbals. So you can actually play like a kick and snare with, with one sound and then come in with some, uh, play some drums uh, and you know it doesn't necessarily sound exactly like a trap kit but if you're looking for something unique it does sound good and it sounds alive it sounds in some way real because of the physical modeling so it's it's great I love the sounds there's a huge well not huge but there's a pretty good variety of sounds from uh, you know so few knobs that you can possibly turn so what is the value of this synth? Is it, is it something that you need to buy? Um, I would say yes. If you like unique sounds, if you like to experiment, if you like to have a crazy idea and uh, try to put it together, and you want, you want some sounds that kind of stand out and sound unique and sound, you know, don't sound like samples, then this is, this is something you want to get your hands on. 
One thing that um, I'm a little less excited about with this synth is if you look here, you see key level, key level, key level, and so forth. Those are modulation destinations, so you don't have freedom to modulate anything you want here. There's certain set destinations, and you have to just work with those. They give you a surprising amount of flexibility, but still, that's a limitation, and it feels like um, AAS kind of wanted to keep this thing pretty focused and kind of limited for marketing purposes when they really could have just like set this thing on fire with all kinds of amazing options. And as you see here, we only have one LFO here. Um, we have an envelope for, for noise and then we have this vibrato thing here and then we have like some effects. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know, there's not a lot going on, but still you do get a huge variety of sounds out of it. And they, and they sound quite good. Other thing I don't like about this is none of the sounds respond to pitch bend. <laughs> and I don't know why they didn't put that in. But that's annoying, because why would I not want to pitch bend this sound? So other than those two drawbacks, um, this thing is kind of amazing. It's, it's kind of a, a nice little synth to have in your arsenal to kind of bring out something that's going to cut through a mix uh, that's going to sound unique and that's going to breathe some life and some excitement into your your um, projects so yeah i definitely recommend it go buy it thanks for listening thanks for checking it out subscribe and um and have a wonderful time with your music